Howdy all. I thought I'd give you kind of um, an overview of emotionally, um, from a mental point of view, what going through chemo and having cancer is like. Um, you see the physical things. Lots of people lose their air. Lots of people lose lots of weight. Uh, a huge amount of people lose weight, as I did in the first phase. Lost a stone in week one. And now I'm putting on weight, as you can probably tell, which is a good thing um, in terms of treatment. Um, not for afterwards. We have to go back to uh, being a bit more healthy. But anyway, there's a lot more involved than just the physical side. Believe you me, um, up here is 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 just as important, if not more, quite frankly. And I just wanted to talk to you about some of the things that I really miss. I really, really miss going swimming with the kids. Um, Saturdays, we'd take them swimming before their lesson and we used to, you know, have a great time in the pool, chuck them about, have a giggle. They went for the lesson, we had a spa and it was just great family time and, and was relaxing. Karina and I caught up on, on things because you rarely get to speak to each other, such a busy family. And I, I miss that. Um, I miss walking the dogs because I can't hold them on the lead with just one hand because my limbs, I've got to be really careful what I'm doing with them because they've been taken out. I don't want to get lymphedema, so I don't want to keep pulling that side of my arm. So that's frustrating in terms of getting out and about. Um, so other things, wine. Um, I like my, my glass of red. Uh, oh, wine tastes awful. And tea and coffee. So you can drink wine and, and tea and coffee, but it just tastes really awful uh, for me. Your taste buds go and then your other senses take over. So your sense of smell and your hearing becomes so acute and just the smell of coffee. It's honestly, it's like being pregnant. So I've not had, I've had one glass of champagne at my wedding and, and that was enough to knock me out. And I missed the afternoon part of it. So that was fine. <laughs> Best way to get married. Uh, but anyway, so I, I miss that, but I, I miss I'm missing this in the first week after chemo. You'd, I'm just too tired to do anything. So spend a lot of time in bed or just at home pottering. Um, so I miss people. I'm a real people person. They inspire me. They give me the buzz. They they challenge me. And I hate being on my own. It's boring. I, I bore myself. I, I'm going to the telly. I'm so up to date on, on Brexit and the general elections. It's unbelievable. I'm, I bore myself so far. So I really miss being around people. And because I'm uh, alone, I just get I get lonely um, and then it gets me down because I'm not doing what I usually do. So I miss people. I miss being in work and, and the buzz of, of seeing people develop and, and seeing things change. So um, they're just some of the things and you get in a cycle if you're not too careful that, you know, you, I know that's a week I'm going to feel like that. Um, and it's good to have friends around. It's good to plan things. Um, but sometimes you, you're just not up to it. You know, in that week one, just to give you an example, just just getting out of bed to have a wee, it's like climbing Kilimanjaro. I've not climbed it, but it feels that's that's how challenging emotionally it is to do that. And walking downstairs to get the iced water, you know, you'd think I'd be running, somebody saying, are you going to run the marathon like that chap that just broke the record? That's what it feels like in my head. And it's just, um, it's a, it's a, it's a mindset of I can't be asked, And that's just not me. You know, a week of I can't be asked to do my emails, I can't be asked to see the kids, I can't be asked to do anything. It's just crazy. And any of you that know me, uh, anyway, so then I get angry because it's not me. And then I go, well, you, you just got to rest. So, and I know after that week, we're going to be bouncing back. I'm back to Lisa and I'm all okay. So it's just the sort of things, um, if you've got a partner that's going through it, or if you're going through it, um, just be aware of it. You know, if you've got to rest, you've got to rest. And, and this bit is, is most precious. So there's some of the things that um, I've missed. Um, I miss the glass of networking, um, as I say, because that's what I love about our sector is, is all the fabulous people in it. Sport and recreation is a great place to work. And um, I really miss miss them all. Um, so I'm looking forward to the new year. My, my social diary is going to be hectic, put it that way. Um, but I'm conscious it will take a while to get all my energy back. So they're the low moments. I know this is coming next week, so I'll be off steroids in uh, by uh, Tuesday. So a few more days of steroids and, and then I'll, I will go into this, this lower phase. Um, I've been trying to watch movies and things to make me feel better, but um, I drop asleep. So there's no point really paying for them. So just some thoughts on sometimes when you're low, you can't see it. Um, but I, in, in this respect, I know I've got to get through it. And I know that chemo is killing any possibility of cancer that's left in me. So it's a good thing. And a week of feeling miserable, you know what? I'll deal with that. We can crack on. Anyway, they're just some observations of what I miss, um, what I'm really looking forward to when it's all over in the new year. And uh, 
we'll see how we crack on. Take care. Bye.